Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to use the view models. Uh, view models in Magento are the second layer between models and blocks and they inject or they fetch data from the database or from the models. Uh, they do some logic and then uh, present it in the templates. They will be injected in the, the view model will be injected in the blocks and then from the blocks they will be called out and then the output will be in the templates. The outcome of this video will be two cases of using view models and then the examples will be similar to this page. So we will display a banner uh, under the product title in the product page and then we'll give a fake information about the stock like uh, 10 available then if you refresh if they are less than five then six available if they are more than five if they are less than five or five or less they will be like uh, ending soon and we will for both those examples we will use view models so let's get started with that let's exit this and then we will start with creating brand new module so we have this fresh i will have a view model example view model tc module dot xml will be training view model example then we will have registration file Registration training new model example. Now we created the module. The next step will be having the views, uh, view front end. We will have view front end, then layout, and then we'll have templates. Then we will have web for the CSS stuff. Now we have those folders, and then what we need to do is we have a template we need to create. Uh, let's call let's call it a delivery message. Delivery message dot html. This will hold. So we will say div and then strong lorem ten will hold the message under the product title. Now we need to inject this message inside the block. The block we are targeting is if we go to vendor magento catalog view. So it's the in the catalog product view. We will target the product. We come in the main. We will target this container. So if I just copy this and have product catalog product view dot XML layout side body reference container will be this, and then we will have a block. The name will be delivery message. Class will be the Magento template. Magento framework view element template. Now we need the template. Template will be training view model example. We will refer to this template delivery message the PHTML. And now what I need is I need to display this before the prices. So I will have before and then will be product info price. That's all I need for now. This product info price here, the one I'm going to display is before that. So if we just think this will have it for now. So if we just run setup upgrade. Now the setup upgrade is done. We just refresh. Now we can see the message is displayed here under the product title. Now let's go ahead and see. We want this mes message to come from the database, like uh, from the admin panel. The admins comes in and then put their message and then it's displayed in the product page. So we don't want it to be static or we don't want to hard code it in the in the template. So to do this, we will create a view model, view model delivery message. Now this is the delivery message class. It's a normal class. So I'll we'll have declare, then namespace, view model example, model class delivery message implements argument face of the block so to do to create a view model and make it available for the blocks and then to output the data in the template it has to implement this interface this interface is in magento framework view element block argument interface you have to mark it as a view model for the block to use it if you don't have if you don't mark it it will not work so this is just a marker interface 
saying this is a view model. So this is one of the things you should know when creating a view model. Now with the view model, what we want to do is we want to get the, the delivery message or the banner message. So basically we just say upload function get message and this will be a string and will return a string. Fire type return correctly will return a string. So the string will bring it from here. So the message now comes from view model. We still had code this. It should come from the database or from a CMS block or whatever, but for, for the purpose of keeping everything simple, because we only focusing on the view model, we just hard code it in here. So once once we create this, we need to inject it into the block. The block is this one. This is the class we are trying to inject the view model into. To do this, we will have a closing tag for the block, and then we will have arguments, and then in the argument we will have a view model, and then we'll give it a type xsi type equals object, and then we put this class inside it remove the forward slash in the beginning so this is the way how you inject the view model you create a view model class it doesn't have to be in the view model but this is for the sake of readability so people know these are whatever classes inside this view model folder will be view model injected into blocks and the view model itself should implement the argument interface and then you inject it into the block section with arguments and then you give it a name view model now if i go to the template here all i need to do is say block get view model get message now the when it says get view model or will get it from here the view model but it will be camel case and the method and then it will give us this class we created and this class has a method called get message and now we say this way block get the injected class view model or the object and then get the message from the view model now you see this is having the error so to fix this I think is just to tell php some to uh, say this is an existing uh, variable we will need to have a var and it will be this block so this is the block we'll have in and then we say block now php storm understand this block comes as this one now we have this we get in the view model we get in the message from the view model using a class called delivery message inside the view model that implements the argument interface and then injected it into the block now if we just clear cache cache layout block html you should see the same results. Now you can see we have the same results. Now we achieved this. However, there is no one saying now, why did we have to go through this whole process while we can just extend this template class in our module and have a custom block and we'll have the get message and then we just work it out like block get message first and foremost we i don't want to create a block i will create a block and then i will explode it with a lot of arguments inside the constructor it will have a lot of logic block should not have logic blocks should have only access to the content and display it in the template just output it but view models can do the rest view models is a way of having the logic having the databases and connections with the cms and then being injected to the block and then the block and then they will output the the data or the content in the template think of a view model as a layer between models and blocks there has been a talking or communication between blocks and models directly but now there is a separate bridge comes into play and it's in between between blocks and models in this way you can use this method to have a separate concerns when it comes to displaying the content on the front end. The concerns of the view models is logic and business logic, domain logic and uh, application logic, and also like accessing databases and accessing some extra classes. You will have this to take a responsibility and take it away from the blocks.
you just inject it into the block and then you output whatever you want in the PHTML templates. So this is the main reason why you would use view models in your block, in your in your mod in your module, is to abstract the logic from the block. Block should not be aware of any any logic you write in the application. So this is the reason why we use it. Now I think this is the main purpose of doing this, which is that that reason now we have completed this but we just have like a custom let's have some uh, decoration on the on the css so we just write a css class extend and then we just give it a styling in the delivery block so if we run setup upgrade again now the setup upgrade is done let's refresh now this doesn't doesn't seem to work because we don't have the delivery box in the template so if we just add this quickly the block fresh we need to disable the php you can imagine full page now here you go so this is just a decoration it doesn't have to do anything with the uh, explanation on how view models works but anyway so we have it here this is the message and how you display it using a view model view model will have a connection so this is will have a connection to the database or a model so this is hard coded but this definitely should come from the uh, from like uh, using some logic if you want to display next day or uh, same day or within three days plus uh, delivery and this should de definitely also comes from the database like uh, how the message should look like and this is one use case of using a view model the other view the other use case to use a view model is when you have an update on your design if you want to edit your theme to display things on the front end but you have to go through uh, re-implementing the block so rather than extending blocks you just inject the view model and then let them do the work you want to do so the thing I'm going to do is I will have a template with the stock so if I go to magento I will go to the templates from the templates I will go to the product view and then type default this will display the in stock the availability the in stock or out of stock what i'm going to do here is i will copy the file first and i will create a folder called magento catalog so i'm overriding the theme and then inside it will be product view inside it will be the templates product view type and inside it i will just paste this template what i'm going to do is like when it's in stock i will use another span here when it's in stock i will have it like ending soon or x amount available now if i fresh i'm getting the ending soon so i'm just trying to have a dash between them so they are separate now it's ending soon but it's always ending soon in order to get information about the stock i will get some uh, some random data to display whether it's ending soon or x amount available so in in the model i will create stock class and then space in fact i'll just copy this uh, stock again implements argument interface and then we will get the data as i will get the status the stock status public function get status and it will return a string and it's not coming from this class now i will have value equals random int between 1 and 10 and if value less than 6 then ending soon else then sprint fd available and then put value here now if less than if the number comes in as less than five less than six so from one to five it will be ending soon if greater than six or greater than five it will be x amount available now this is the view model how do i inject it i will need to inject it from the theme because it's a theme change i will have the layout folder and in the theme if i go to the module catalog if i go to the layout 
out from in the layout, I will see this file. And this file is using this template here, identical product view type default. So what I'm going to do is I'll copy this. In fact, yeah, paste it here and just remove everything. I think it's the, what I'm using is reference block rather than container. So I will just make this a reference to me. Then I delete it. The reference block will be this copy paste and then i delete i don't need it so i'm just using the reference block here that is uses this template and i put the inject the view model so the name is view model and then says i type equals object and if i just copy this class this view model paste it here now we have injected it but this will give us a problem because here we are in the configurable product configurable product will Will have a different file layout file so we will have to go to module configurable module configurable product and then we will go to the front end layout and we'll use we will use this file same thing we will do here we just copy and paste now we don't need any of these attributes i think the only thing we are interested in this block because this is what uses the default phtml file just copy this then remove everything else now reference block this and we'll have exactly what's in the argument and the simple now we have done this the only thing we need to do is we go to the template and here instead of hard coding we just say block get view model get status that's all we need now if we clear cache block html on layout refresh you can see now we have nine available, and then soon nine available, and then soon or eight available, and then soon six available, and so on. I think this is it. If you find this useful, please like and subscribe, and I see you in next video.